All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 10. So we can link to another page with the anchor element, the A element, all right? Or anchor, where I'm gonna always call it anchor. Anyway, for example, anchor href, this means hypertext reference. We're not gonna find it on any resource page, but that's what it means. Uh, equals uh, this URL right here, then we'll have a close anchor right there. And this is going to link to freecodecamp.com. Yeah, pardon me, freecodecamp.org, it turns out. I thought it was .com. Well, whatever. Uh, we're going to add an anchor element after the paragraph that links to this URL. And at this point, the link won't show up in the preview, it turns out. Uh, let's go to anchor tag while we're at it. Anchor element HTML. Uh, here we go. And so the anchor tag, let's look at the definition and usage. So the anchor tag defines a hyperlink, which is used to link from one page to another. We know that. Uh, the most important attribute of the anchor element is the href attribute, which indicates the link's destination, hypertext reference. You will not find it say hypertext reference everywhere. I don't even know where I found that, but I did. Uh, by default, links will appear as follows, pardon me, as follows in all browsers. So an unvisited link is underlined in blue. We know that. A uh, visited link is underlined in purple. We know that. And an active link is underlined in red. I didn't know that because I don't even know what an active link would look like. But whatever. Uh, here's some tips and notes. Tip. If the A tag has no href attribute, it's only a placeholder for a hyperlink. How would we know if we weren't writing it ourselves, guys? Uh, how, you know, how would we even see it? Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so here's another tip. A linked page is normally displayed in the current browser window unless we specify another target, turns out. Uh, well, I mean, we knew that. And also, tip, use CSS to style links. Okay, so like here, you see this is now, uh, what color is this? This is like gray, and then it when we hover over it, it's green, and same here. And then all these are different color links. If it wasn't for the CSS, these would all be blue and underlined. All right. So there's that. And you can see it has a ton of different attributes or, or maybe eight or nine. But still, it has a bunch of attributes that we're not going to get into right now. And that's pretty much it. Here's a bunch of examples. Uh, here's like a href equals a telephone. OK. And anyway, we're not going to get it. Let's just finish it up. So we're going to put that anchor right here. We'll start off with an A and then we'll close the A because we're making the uh, remember, we're making a container here. So we don't want to pour water into a empty glass or no into a half a glass, right? Like half a glass, right? This not this half. You know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, uh, so let's throw this thing in here. So we're going to highlight the whole thing. We're going to copy it with a control C and we're going to come in the middle of this thing and say control V thusly. And you can see there's this uh, hyperlink right there, but it's not really a hyperlink. What did we even do a href? Add an anchor to the pair that links to this. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, no, never mind. href equals equals empty string. Uh, let's take this and get rid of it with a delete. And then we'll just do another control C here. Pardon me, control V right in between that. And that should take care of business. All right, so let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 11, and we'll see you next time.